Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel Woven Wonders Tarot. This is your June 2022 overall energy reading. We're going to be taking a look at your work and finances as well as your love and romance for the month of June 2022. Today I'm using a variety of tarot decks so I will leave that information down in the description box and as you can see I've already meditated, shuffled and pulled your cards. All of my cards are read in the upright position so let's get started Gemini. Okay, Gemini, today this row represents your work and finances. This row represents your love and romance. And I have two advice cards for you here for the month of June. We are going to start with your work and finance. You have the Six of Cups. You have the Hanged Man. You have the Two of Wands. And finally, you have the Page of Pentacles. So again, this is the work and finances row. I feel like when it comes to work, I'm going to start with this two of wands. I feel like you're thinking about going into a different direction, doing something different than what you're doing now. But with this two of wands, I feel like you're still on the fence about it. You know what you want to do, but you haven't made any plans yet. Okay, you're trying to figure it out. I mean, you could be making some plans, but I feel like you're still really, you know, just on the fence, not really knowing what, how to implement what it is that you want to do, the change that you want to make but you do want to make a change, okay? I feel like for some of you, I'm gonna go with this hangman. I, again, I do feel like you're on the fence. There's a little bit of confusion. I think that you've been in a at your current job for some time or whatever you do to make money, you've been doing it for a while and it's been okay, but the hangman um, encourages you to think from a different perspective. So, you know, I feel like you're trying to figure out how to get down off of that tree and make some moves. But right now I think you feel kind of stuck. I think I'm getting a feeling of, okay, uh, safety, what I'm doing okay, what I'm doing right now is okay, it pays my bills, but you know, I can't, I feel like you're stagnant. You feel like you've been stagnant for a while. Again, stuck stuck in a tree. But the, tra the traditional deck for the hangman has a tree, the person is stuck in a tree. But for this particular, this is a light series uh, tarot deck. And this person is kind of like hanging from, some sort of, I don't know, a rope or something like that. Uh, like one of those things that you twirl around in the circus. So more artistic version of the hangman. But I do feel like um, you do feel comfortable where you are. The hangman is comfortable where he or she is, but knows that a change is needed. So I do feel like you're in that mindset. That change for some of you, I feel like some of you are thinking about retiring. So this could definitely represent retirement. And of course, with the two of, when you... The two of Wands comes into play because when you're talking about retirement, you're talking about there there will be uncertainty, uncertainties, excuse me. Um, you know, there's going to be a ch big change in your financial situation if you retire. So I feel like with this Two of Wands, if you're planning on retiring, I feel like that's where kind of the little um, hesitation is because you want to make sure that you're going to be okay. But I do get retirement, like some of you are kind of, you know, you were youthful, you've been at this position for a long time, and now you're feeling, you know, it's time to go. You feel a little bit older and you want to do something else with your life. Um, for others of you, you might be thinking about doing something that you did in the past previously. So leaving your current situation, going back to do something that you enjoyed um, doing better in the past, okay? Or even going back to a previous job. I feel like with this page of pentacles, you're gonna be okay financially. For those of you who are thinking about retiring, the page of pentacles is, is someone who um, is just on a new journey and they're making decent money, but maybe not the money that they want to make, but they do have goals. So for people going out on retirement, I feel like this means that you're going to have just enough money to get by. You will have enough. Okay. You will have to budget, but you'll be okay. And for others of you, you know, thinking about going to, you know, leaving your current situation, I feel like there's going to be opportunities. Okay. The page of pencils is a brand new opportunity that will pay just fine. It'll pay well. Okay. Won't make you rich but it'll pay well. So that's what I'm seeing for work and finances. For Gemini, there's big changes coming for some of you. Some of you are leaving current situations um, to go find something better. You've been at your place of employment or, or how, however you make money, you've been doing that for a while and it's time for some changes. And you'll have good luck with that with this uh, page of pentacles. Others of you, you're planning on retiring, you're thinking about it, you're on the fence, you're worried about if you're going to be able to make it financially. And I feel like with this page of pentacles, that answer is yes. All right, so we're going to go on to your love and romance. For those of you interested in love and romance, you have the four of wands, 
you have the Ten of Swords, and you have the Chariot, and finally you have the Four of Cups. So this is very interesting. So I see one major issue going on right now, but I'm going to look at it one single issue um, at the moment. That's different from what I'm getting ready to say. So I'm going to look, pick up this Four of Wands. So I feel like some of you, if you're in a connection, maybe you're thinking about getting married or proposing to someone, or maybe even, you know, taking your connection, your relationship to the next step, which is, again, moving in with each other, meeting each other's families, kind of combining families, different things like that. So I feel like some of you are on that path um, to, you know, taking your relationship to another level. Maybe that's going to happen in June. Okay. So for others of you, I'm going to read this as, you know, one whole situation. I feel like some of you were in a strong connection, what you thought was a strong connection, a long, long-term connection. And then something happened um, with this Ten of Swords um, that kind of ended that connection, okay? Either it ended ended it all already or it's in the process of being ended, okay? I feel like whatever happened, either you or your person feels like there's no going back. You feel like it's done, it's over. That's a feeling. It's not necessarily saying that it is over, but that's just the, the feeling of it right now. Either you or your person feels like, okay, I'm done. This is over. Someone is leaving with this chariot. So, oh, I can't pick up this card. So with the chariot, this is a card of careful, very careful choices. Um, but fast choices, okay? So I feel like whatever happened, um, someone is directing to leave or has already left, okay? Um, because of whatever is going on here. So there's a situation going on right now for some of you that is so devastating that um, one or both of you wants this, um, which was once a very good connection, harmonious connection, is now turned bad here with whatever this ten of swords whatever that situation was it devastated someone in this connection and there's going to be um someone's leaving just straight up someone's leaving um you have the four of cups so one of you you or your person wants to um remain in the connection this person is offering this person a cup of love and this person say, no, I'm done with the situation. I'm not dealing with this anymore. So I feel like that's what's going on. Um, Gemini, it's it's you or your person, someone hurt the other one and um, one of you is leaving. This is going, if it's not happening now, I feel like you know what the situation is. So if you already know what it is, be prepared because in June, um, there's gonna be some action taken. Uh, regarding the situation and I feel like it's going to lead up to someone leaving out of the connection. All right, so let's look at your advice cards. You have the Knight of Pentacles and this, these two cards come from a deck called, it's a new deck that I'm using. It's called the Double Major Arcanas and so it has all of the Major Arcana cards in it and the Court cards and it has them in what I interpret as the uh, upright and reverse, okay? But both cards are in upright positions, but depending on which card you get, the original or the second version, they could be in um, upright or reverse. So this Knight of, that is Knight of Pentacles, yeah. Knight of Pentacles, yeah, is in reverse. Because in the traditional card, the Knight is on the horse and he's upright and he's moving um, toward his um, goals, but moving very slow. And then here you have the page of pentacles and that's in the normal upright. So I feel like the advice here is with this, with this knight of pentacles, again, traditionally this knight of pentacles moves very, very slow. So I feel like the advice here is you can see this horse is bucking this knight off of him. I feel like the horse is frustrated saying, you've been on me uh, too long. My back is tired. Get off, you know, get off, either make some moves or get off, get off of me. So I feel like that's what's going on. And I feel like that really resonates with this uh, work situation. I feel like the message is do not stall, okay? If you procrastinate, you're going to miss out on some very good opportunities. And with this page of pentacles, um, and we have the page of pentacles here in the work and finance as well, I feel like there are wonderful new opportunities out there for you. And it could be in love as well too. But there are new opportunities that are available to you. But Jim and I feel like the message is maybe you procrastinate and you're, you're going to miss out on important 
opportunities if you do not get that horse going. So again, traditionally the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight, moves very slow. And I feel like this horse is saying, you know what? You better make some moves or you're gonna miss out. I'm not gonna waste my time with you on my back. So that's what it is, Jim and I feel like don't procrastinate. That's the, the um, advice and the message, the warning for the month of June, 2022. Do not procrastinate or you're gonna miss out. You snooze, you lose, okay? So that's what I'm seeing, Jim and I, for June 2022. Good luck with all these different situations if they relate to you. Oops. Thank you for stopping by and watching my video and have a wonderful June and have a wonderful day.